Welcome to Roy's Book Reviews. I am your host, Roy, here to discuss with you um, my thoughts about uh, books that I have read over the years, uh, mostly fiction, um, a lot of it literary fiction. I do like to hop around genres, though, um, so if you have checked out other videos of mine, you will have found that I've also discussed some nonfiction books, memoirs, children's books, um, a little bit of everything. But today, I would like to discuss, I uh, guess you would put this in the historical fiction category, The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. I'm going to turn the music off here and get to it. I found The Historian to be an engaging, though somewhat overlong entry into the Dracula sweepstakes. It's crammed full of historical data and anecdotes. It felt to me that a substantial portion of the backdrop could have been omitted without significantly subtracting from the overall plot. Um, but then again, if you are a reader who loves lots and lots of details, um, coloring the um, main storyline, this may bother you perhaps a little less than it bothered me. Um, this book is largely told um, in the form of letters um, that are being sent back and forth, um, though they are not the type of letters um, that you and I may write. I guess we write emails these days rather than letters, um, but these are the types of um, letters you would only find in a novel or maybe a novel itself would be written um, in such incredible detail. Um, the point of view of the historian shifts throughout the narrative, but rather than you know visiting one person and visiting another, it's switching from one person's um, letters to another person's letters. Um, the reader, um, those of us outside of the book, you and I, um, we press on because we are chasing after the second most charismatic villain of all time, trailing behind only Satan himself. Um, that would be Dracula. Um, when it comes to books about vampires, I've read um, more than some and fewer than others. And I will say that th those that I enjoyed the most would probably be uh, the Anne Rice books, uh, Interview, or Interview with the Vampire, um, and that series of titles. Uh, Anne Rice had the, the distinct advantage of making her vampires the main characters, whereas Kostova chronicles the overlapping adventures of a group of vampire-hunting historians. Uh, Dracula, the most famous vampire of all, uh, makes no more than a cameo appearance um, towards the uh, very end of the historian. So if you're looking for a lot of scenes of, uh, of the dark and handsome, swarthy Dracula sneaking up on unsuspecting women and sinking um, his teeth into their um, necks, um, you're not going to find that here because the book is not about Dracula it is about the historians who are on the hunt of Dracula, hence the book is called A Historian. Um, so I will say that this novel is not so much about um, the catch than it is about the pursuit. Um, ironically, even though much of this book felt stretched out um, longer um, than perhaps it you know, really needed to be, uh, the end of the book, um, in my opinion, seemed a bit rushed and anticlimactic. I was reminded of my experience reading um, Stephen King's The Stand, um, which is certainly a masterpiece, and like The Historian, it is a, a very large book. A lot of pages, a lot of very high page count, word count, um, if you're happen to be carrying a hardcover around, 
um, probably put a bit of a strain on you. I, was, I read paperbacks of both of them, so I didn't have to deal with that. Um, and I do love to read uh, very um, large books from time to time, um, where it takes you, you know, several weeks um, or so to get through them, rather than just a day or two. I'm a rather slow-paced reader, so. Um, even with a relatively short book, it could take me a while to get through it sometimes, depending on, you know, how sucked into it I am. And a big book like this, even, you know, if I'm reading voraciously every day, pouring through pages and pages at a time, it's still going to take me a while because, uh, it's a rather, um, lengthy book. Um, so as with the, um, the stand, um, Took me a while to get through it, and there was so much build up, so much um, expectation of you know how are we gonna close this story out when I finally, finally make it to the end. Um, with the stand, I, I was so absorbed in, in that story that I, um, I probably only would have been fully satisfied by the conclusion um, if the book literally combusted as I read its um, final pages. Um, that was not quite the case with the historian. It's not that kind of uh, a page turner the way the stand is, though it probably does match it um, page for page in um, length. Um, if you are um, the type of person who considers um, Twilight to be um, top shelf literature, um, you may not make it past um, page 100 of the historian. Um, it's not that kind of a light, breezy um, book in which you know, vampires are made to be very sexy and sparkly and uh, whatever they are. I haven't read the Twilight books. Or I haven't even seen the movies, so I can't say exactly what they were. But I've heard a bit about them. Um, that's not the type of um, vampire stuff you will find in The Historian. Um, but readers who enjoy meticulously researched historical um, literary fiction um, that transports them through many countries over many centuries will find uh, the historian uh, a worthy treat to sink their sharpened teeth into. Um, that is about all I have to say about the historian. I think um, that people who enjoy vampire stories, Dracula um, stories, should uh, check this book out. And even if you do not, it is definitely a, a beautifully written um, novel. And I think um, it's definitely worth your time. Just uh, don't expect uh, jump scares and um, bats turning into monsters and vice versa and all that kind of stuff to be happening every few pages um it's not that kind of book but it is um a book that i enjoyed reading and that's all i have to say about uh the historian i will definitely give this author uh another shot um down the road because she uh is very good at what she does until next time this is roy signing out um Happy reading.